guys and welcome to another video. Today I have for you guys the USR sniper rifle from Call of Duty Ghosts. So without further ado, let's check out this awesome creation. So this gun is in Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, it's it's a pretty cool design. It's sort of like the uh, Lee Enfield, you know, it's got that handle. Um, not it's part of the stock, and then, but the stock on this is just like a giant rectangle instead of like a triangle like most snipers. Um, also got the grip and then the barrel, the top. So yeah, it's a very familiar design, I guess. Yeah, it's pretty futuristic. It's got the bullets actually on the side, so like the Remington 870 MCS, uh, the removable magazine. It it's it kind of sucks because it it just goes in for like a single block height because well I had to fit the bolt in there so I could not make the magazine like really good and a piece just came off. Um, on this side, as you can see, a bit of detail here and the working bolt. So like the real one, you can't pull it back um, normally. So I'll just switch the camera angle so you guys can see better. So here I am with the bolt. Like I said, you can't pull it back normally, just like the real bolt. Got to push it up, and then you can pull it up. And there's a rubber band in there, so it's pretty cool. As so, well as a working shell ejection. Well, it's not working, but it's there. It still looks really cool. So yeah, here's a look down the scope, and well. Yay, it's, it doesn't really work. But for this gun, I didn't want like a functioning scope. I wanted one that actually looked like one instead of like a giant like light gray thing. So yeah, it doesn't work, but it looks so much better. And as you can see, it's got the display on top. And well, there's an addition to that thing. So, this little display actually took me longer than the actual scope itself, just, just to get it to look right, to function properly, and I think I've finally gotten my finished product, and I like it. So I'm going to take out the clip, because it's kind of hard to hold the gun with it, especially since I'm not touching the handle. And as you can see, it's got one of these Technic bricks, and you push on it, and it turns on. And it just adds to an effect, adds an effect to the gun. Um, you can't really see it because it's really bright right now. So I will see you guys in the dark. So here I am with the lights turned off. As you can see, it looks really badass. Even though it may be a bit blinding at times, it's just a camera. I mean, it it honestly is not blinding at all in real life, even if you stare at it. But as you can see in the camera, it's like boom. But yeah, really cool. It's like a little display that works, and it adds to an adds an effect to the gun. But that's basically it. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.